So one common question I get is how to write chemical formulas correctly. Now what I do in my classes is this, I get students to write the cation, say X M plus, and the anion, say Y N minus, the anion, and all you want to do is you want to take the charge, the number, and you want to cross it down, all right? So if you do this correctly, you should get X N Y M, all right? So let's take a look at an example. For example, if I give you sodium oxide. Now sodium is in group 1, it is Na plus. And oxygen is in group 6, 2 minus. To write the chemical formula of sodium oxide, you want to cross the numbers down, not the charge, just the numbers, and you're going to get Na2O. Okay? So if I give you another example, like say magnesium, Mg2 plus, chloride, Cl minus. Similarly, if you take the numbers and you cross it down, you're going to get MgCl2. Okay? Now what about polyatomic ions, nitrates, sulfates, carb carbonates, alright? So if you're given a polyatomic ion, similarly, what you want to do here is this, okay? So let's assume you have magnesium nitrate, Mg2 plus nitrate NO3 minus, alright? Likewise, you want to take number, you want to cross it down, so you bring the number 2 on the outside and 1 on the inside. So this gives you Mg. NO3, 2. Now you want to make sure you have the brackets because what you actually have is you're having two nitrate ions, NO3, NO3, connected to, sorry, connected to one magnesium ion. Okay, so for polyatomic ion, you want to make sure you have the brackets. Alright, I'm just going to show you one more. Let's assume you have ammonium sulfate. Okay, so a polyatomic cation, NH4+, plus, and sulfate is SO4, 2 minus. Okay? You want to take the numbers and you want to cross it down. Alright? So you have NH4. We have two of those. So you want to make sure you have the brackets there. And you have one sulfate, so that's just SO4. Okay? So I hope this short video has shown you how to write chemical formulas for uh, compounds in your syllabus. See you next time.